Have you ever wanted to be one of those cool YouTuber guys with millions of views? Well, that's gonna have to take years of hard dedication and work before you can even be at that point. But if you think you have what it takes to talk in front of a camera to put food on the table, you're gonna need to learn the biggest step of them all. Editing. Editing is what holds the video together and makes it easier to watch. Trust me when I say it's not as easy as just talking in front of a camera. You may know YouTubers like Markiplier or Jacksepticeye or... I just realized the majority of what I watch on YouTube is just gaming channels, but nevertheless, their videos have editing for comedic purposes or to make the video less boring. To be perfectly honest, nobody wants to watch you talking into camera for 30 minutes straight. Human minds need constant simulation or else they get bored and try to go do something else. This video will go into detail on various aspects of editing, what it is, how to do it, and how to do it better. I'm no editing professional, but I still know how to do the most basic editing tricks. I'm doing this for a project for my high school video production class, so, uh, hi guys. Somebody, we're gonna need this. But without further ado, let's get into this. Google says that the definition of editing is to prepare written material for publication by correcting, condensing, or otherwise modifying it. Alright, next section. Just kidding. Editing is the process of tweaking your video to perfection after you record it. This is done with an editing software. Some good editing softwares to use are OpenShot, a free open source editing software with some of the basic things you would need to edit videos, a little buggy though, Magix Video Pro X, a pricey but easy to use editing software that has much more features than OpenShot, Adobe Premiere Pro, an advanced and very expensive editing software that has all the features you can dream of. Most of you have probably heard that one before. Now those are just the ones that I've used in my time as a YouTuber, but there are plenty of other ones like iMovie and Sony Vegas Pro. So just choose whichever one suits your needs, <laughs> if you can afford it. <laughs> and all of them are different, so there's plenty of options to choose from. So now that you have your editing software, you should be what? You don't have your editing software? What are you waiting for? Go get one! So now that you have your editing software, you should be good to go. Just open it up and... Ah! With your editing software open, you might feel a little overwhelmed. Don't worry, most of this stuff should be fairly easy to understand once I explain it to you. Some of this stuff might not apply to the software you use, however, there is a lot of stuff that goes for all editing softwares. The main way to put your video into the software is to go to the video file, find the video, and drag it onto the software window where it looks like the parts of the video might go. There may also be a media window where you can search for your video and place it from there. Now that your video is in the software, you may begin the editing process. Some of the basic edits you can make include cutting, removing boring or unnecessary parts from your video to make it more interesting. This part is essential to making your video watchable. Adding in media. This is used to add video or audio clips over the video or audio you are editing. Effects. Adding effects can be done for comedic effect, no pun intended, as well as just making your video look nicer. Movement. Moving your movie around can allow you to zoom in on anything you want or focus in, or on yourself if you have a high ego. Finally, audio. Did that part sound good? No, I didn't think so. Make sure to fix your audio. So how do you do those things? Well, that's what I'm about to explain. The best parts to cut out of your video are the ones where you're not speaking. If you're not speaking in the video, cut out the parts where you're not doing anything. If you're not doing anything in the video, then... <laughs> your video sucks. Cutting functions may vary between editing softwares, but they all do the same thing. Press the scissors icon, or control K if you're in Premiere Pro, when your marker thing is in front of the part you want to cut out. Then, do the same thing with the, your marker at the end of the part that you want to cut out. Cut out portion of the video should now become its own clip. To get rid of it, simply press delete. Adding media is a good idea if you want to add more to your video. This means you can add images, sounds, or footage from your files into the editor. Simply put in whichever one of those you want in your video the same way you put the video in and move it to where you want to go. This is good if you want your videos to look more, well, edited. If it's just you talking with a few cuts here and there, most people will notice that it's less than if there were images and wacky sound effects playing at random times. Next is the effects. The usage of effects varies depending on what kind of video you're doing. If you're doing a comedic video, you might put some effects in there to make the jokes funnier. Example. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> I miss Jimmy. He <laughs> was such a great hen. <laughs> Every editing software I've used, the effects menu is pretty easy to find. Just press the thing that says effects. 
no, no, right there. Look, look where it says, look at it. Right. Colder, colder, warmer, colder, colder. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Text can do various things like spicing up your colors and making you look weird. Some important ones to note are color correction. Makes your video look better on the eyes or make you look like your worst nightmare. Distortion. Makes your face look really weird. Yeah, this is big brain time. Sharpness slash blur. This makes you look clearer or less clear. And brightness. It's kind of basic, but you don't want to blind your viewers. Next is movement. This allows you to move things around on the screen. I feel like I should have put this before the adding media part because this kind of goes with that. I actually didn't, that's just what the script says. It works differently with each editing software, but the best way to do it is to click on the media you want to use in the movie screen until it lets you resize it. Another way is to right click on the movie in the media track and look for a thing that says transform. Transform means move and resize. In Premiere Pro, there's a little plus sign thing in the center. You can drag this around and change where the center of the image or movie is. Basically, it changes where the center point of the image or movie is when you resize it. Finally, we have your audio. Audio is an essential part of your video. It's the very reason you can hear me telling you that audio is an essential part of your video. Now, if you're anything like me, the audio in your video might not be perfect when you record. Editing your audio in your video editor is kind of like a second chance. You can raise or lower the volume, mess with the equalizer, and many other things too. Since Adobe Premiere Pro is all fancy and sophisticated, it has this feature that lets you drown out unwanted background noises. Like your PC fan! You can also add effects to your audio, such as changing the pitch, distorting it, making it sound like you're in the inside of a cave, or making it sound like your microphone is inside of a plastic bottle. So those are the basics of editing. Now we should... Jay? What are you doing here? You have forgotten one vital part of video editing. Oh. And what's that? Exporting the video. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Exporting can be tricky depending on what software you're using. Usually, the export button is found under the file tab in the top corner. It should be pretty straightforward what to do from here. Enter the name you want to give your project and all that. The one important thing is the format you use to export that file. These softwares tend to make it a bit difficult to find what file format to use. Magic Video Pro X, you have to press the button that manually shows you all the file formats. If you want to upload to YouTube, always export it as MP4, or if it presents the option, the one that says YouTube. Now we just have to wait, and 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 After a bit of waiting, your video is now done and ready to upload to YouTube. Good job. Now you're acquainted with editing, but you can still do better. This brings us to... Now that you know the basics of editing, here are some tips that can help you look more professional than you actually are. Keyframes. Keyframes are a very important feature that I didn't mention earlier for some reason that can help you out a ton. You probably know about 3D animation. Softwares like Blender and SFM use keyframes to move models around on command. Yeah, those dumb TF2 animations you watched when you were 9 actually had effort behind them. So what do they do? Keyframes remember positions, sizes, and effects an object has. When you have two keyframes with, let's say, different positions, the media will move from position A to position B in the time it takes for the movie to scroll from one keyframe to the next. It may sound complicated, but it's pretty easy to wrap your head around once you start using them. This can be used to make fluid animations or custom transitions on your own. Speaking of transitions... TRANSITIONS! You probably use Google Slides or PowerPoint, so you might know a lot more about transitions already. But if you haven't, here's a quick analogy. If you make if making cuts to your movies like cooking a turkey, transitions are like adding seasoning to the turkey. Transitions are just there to make your cuts less boring. You can use basic ones like crossfading or sliding, but if you're really fancy, you could use some of these wacky transitions. Keep in mind that overusing transitions, especially the really noticeable ones, is kind of looked down upon by some people because it tends to be distracting. Text. Text is not always required to make a good video, but it can help out in some cases alert. like when you- Emergency alert. This is a national security threat. There has been a breach in the boys' bathroom. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. Comedic timing. This is more of an abstract concept than a feature, but it can help you out if you're looking to make a comedic videos like this one. Utilizing cuts, visual effects like distortion, or audio effects like reverb can make some jokes hit harder. Of course, you have to be funny. So that's about it for my editing tutorial. Thanks for watching it if you did. And if you, ha if you happen to become the world's best editor after watching this, be sure to thank me.